Our planet is home to truly wondrous creatures, among them lizards hold a special fascination. These reptiles are ancient, they have roamed the earth for millions of years, their diversity is simply breathtaking, from the smallest gecko to the largest dragon. Each one is a marvel of evolution. Let us embark on a journey into their world. Monitor lizards are a remarkable group, they belong to the genus, many are large, powerful predators, they are found across vast continents. Africa, Asia, and Australia are their homes. Each species is uniquely adapted to its own special corner of the world. Their intelligence and adaptability are astounding. And then, there is the Komodo dragon, the undisputed king of all lizards. Is its scientific name? This giant is a monitor lizard too. It lives on just a few remote Indonesian islands. Its presence is both awe-inspiring and formidable. Our adventure begins now. Let us first consider the sheer size of the Komodo dragon. It is the largest lizard alive today. An adult male can grow to 10 feet long, that is longer than a small car. They can weigh over 150 pounds. Imagine encountering such a colossal reptile, its bulk is truly impressive. A testament to nature's grandeur, this is a heavyweight champion of the lizard world. The skin of a Komodo dragon is a marvel in itself. It is covered in tough, rugged scales. These are not just for show, they are like armor. The scales are reinforced with tiny bones. These are called osteoderms. This creates a flexible yet protective chainmail, offering defense against rivals and struggling prey. The color is usually a dull, earthy gray or brown, helping it blend into its volcanic island home. Monitor lizards in general also possess scaly skin. The texture and pattern can vary greatly. Some have smooth, glossy scales, others have rougher, more keeled scales. Colors range from drab browns and grays to vibrant yellows, greens, and even blues in some species. Many have intricate patterns of spots or stripes. The Komodo dragon relies heavily on its sense of smell. It uses its long yellow forked tongue, constantly flicking it in and out of its mouth. It samples the air for scent particles. These particles are then transferred to the Jacobson's organ. This allows it to detect carrion or prey from astonishing distances. Other monitor lizards share this incredible smelling ability. The forked tongue and Jacobson's organ are key tools. They constantly taste their surroundings. The Komodo dragon is a creature of very specific islands. It is found only in Indonesia, on a few small islands. Komodo, Rinka, Flores, Gilimotang, and Padar. These islands form part of the Lesser Sunda chain. The dragons prefer hot and dry environments. They inhabit tropical dry forests and savanna grasslands, often on rugged volcanic slopes. This restricted range makes them quite unique, and also particularly vulnerable. Their kingdom is a small, precious one. Why are these giant lizards found only here? Their isolation has played a significant role. These islands have been their stronghold for millennia. The ecosystem here is perfectly suited to them, with large prey animals available, and a lack of other large carnivorous competitors historically. This allowed them to evolve into the apex predators that we see today. Monitor lizards as a broader group are far more widespread. They are true globetrotters of the reptile world. You can find them across Africa, throughout much of Southern Asia, and all across the Australian continent and nearby islands. Their adaptability is simply extraordinary. They thrive in an astonishing array of habitats. This versatility is a hallmark of the genus. Each species is a master of its chosen environment. The Komodo dragon is a fearsome carnivore. It sits at the very top of the food chain, an apex predator in its island ecosystem. Its diet consists mainly of large animals. It preys on Timor deer, wild pigs, and even water buffalo. Younger dragons will eat smaller prey, such as rodents, birds, and other reptiles. They are also notorious scavengers, readily feasting on any carrion they find. A Komodo dragon has a truly enormous appetite. It can consume a staggering amount of food in one sitting, up to 80% of its own body weight. After such a large meal, it may not eat again for weeks. Its metabolism is slow, allowing it to conserve energy. The menu for other monitor lizards is incredibly diverse. It truly depends on the species and its size. Smaller monitors primarily eat insects. They will also take spiders, scorpions, and small lizards. Medium-sized monitors might add eggs, birds, and rodents to their diet. The larger monitor species, like the lace monitor in Australia, can tackle wallabies, birds, and other substantial prey. They are opportunistic feeders, adapting their diet to what is available. 
Many monitor lizards are also keen scavengers. They play an important role in cleaning up their environment. The Komodo dragon is a master of the ambush. It does not rely on long, fast chases. Instead, it uses stealth and patience. It will lie in wait along game trails or near watering holes, perfectly camouflaged, hidden amongst the dry grasses and bushes. When an unsuspecting deer or pig wanders close enough, the dragon explodes into action, a sudden powerful burst of speed, launching its attack with terrifying efficiency. The bite of a Komodo dragon is its most formidable weapon. For a long time we thought bacteria in its saliva caused infections. But now we know the truth is even more remarkable. Komodo dragons possess venom glands. Their bite delivers a cocktail of toxic proteins. These proteins act as anticoagulants, preventing blood clotting, and also induce shock by lowering blood pressure. Even if the prey escapes the initial attack, it will soon weaken and succumb to the venom's effects. The dragon then calmly tracks its dying victim. Other monitor lizards employ a wide range of hunting tactics. Their strategies are as diverse as their diets and habitats. Many are active foragers, constantly on the move, using their keen sense of smell to seek out hidden prey. Komodo dragons are, for the most part, solitary creatures. They prefer to live and hunt alone. Each adult typically has its own territory, though these territories may overlap somewhat. They do not form social groups or family units. Interactions between individuals are usually brief, often centered around mating opportunities or when several dragons gather at a large kill. Otherwise, they lead a rather independent existence. When a large animal dies or is killed, it's a different story. The powerful scent of carrion can attract multiple Komodo dragons from miles around, creating a temporary gathering. At these communal feeding sites, a clear hierarchy is established. The largest and most dominant dragons eat first. They may engage in ritualistic displays or even fights to assert their position and gain access to the best bits. Smaller dragons must wait their turn patiently or risk injury by challenging a superior. Most other monitor lizard species also lead solitary lives. They are self-reliant hunters and foragers not needing the cooperation of a pack. Communication between these lizards is subtle but effective. They use a variety of signals. The mighty Komodo dragon faces a precarious future. It is currently listed as endangered by conservation authorities. Several serious threats loom over these magnificent creatures. Habitat loss is a major concern. As human populations expand on their native islands, their forest and savanna homes are shrinking. Poaching of their primary prey such as deer reduces their food supply, impacting their survival. And the looming specter of climate change could alter their delicate island ecosystem irrevocably. Thankfully, efforts are underway to protect these island giants. Komodo National Park was established to safeguard their habitat. It provides a sanctuary for the dragons and other unique wildlife. Ongoing research helps us understand their needs better. Scientists study their behavior, genetics, and health. Conservation programs often involve local communities, providing education and alternative livelihoods to reduce human-wildlife conflict. Many other monitor lizard species also face significant threats. Their conservation status varies greatly, from species that are widespread and common to those that are critically endangered and on the brink. Habitat destruction and degradation are universal problems. The conservation of all monitor lizards is vitally important. So we have journeyed into the world of Komodo dragons. These truly are unique and awe-inspiring giants. The largest lizards on Earth confined to a few islands. They are specialized predators with a venomous bite. Masters of ambush ruling their volcanic domain. Their existence is a testament to the power of evolution in isolated and unique environments. A creature of legend and a vital part of Indonesia's heritage. They command our respect and our protection. And we have explored the diverse family of monitor lizards. A sprawling group of reptiles full of variety. They have conquered continents and countless habitats, from tiny insect eaters to large, powerful hunters. Their adaptability and intelligence are remarkable. They are survivors, thriving in many different landscapes. Each species is a unique expression of the lineage, showcasing nature's incredible capacity for variation. They are a vibrant and essential part of global ecosystems. Did you know that some female Komodo dragons can reproduce through parthenogenesis? This means they can lay fertile eggs without mating with a male. These reptiles are far more complex than we often imagine. 
They deserve our admiration, our study, and our utmost efforts to ensure they continue to grace our planet for generations to come.